So set your oven to 325 or 350. You for this? We're using this heart silicone mold. And I already made my cake batters. So we're going to take this Pam. going to take the silicone mold on the tray over to the sink. Okay, and just going to spray it with the Pam. And going to really make sure that it's really well coated. And so the cake doesn't stick. And I put this sped up because it was taking... It was like two minutes of just shaky bad footage of me putting in the cake batter. And I'm using an ice cream scoop thing here. I would suggest using a smaller spoon instead because this puts way too much cake batter. You can actually do a quarter amount out instead. And now I just cleaned up the silicone mold a bit. And the oven's already heated up, so now I'm going to just pop them into the oven. Luckily, I didn't burn myself here. There, because I'm very clumsy, so I could have. Because I've done that before. Okay, now just turning on the oven light. So you can see. And there they went. They poofed up. Up into little pillows. Okay, so I took those out and I started again. My grandma said that I shouldn't need to spray the mold. She was wrong. You really do need to spray the mold. Well, because they will get stuck. They shouldn't, but they will. <laughs> well, and I'm doing it less batter this time. I'm still using the ice cream scoop, so it's kind of harder. Uh, and with this, doing these kinds of things with the heart mold, I wouldn't recommend using white cake because they crumble a lot faster. And here's a clip of me going to Bug Dixie. Okay, and I sprayed the silicone mold for the chocolate batter again. And now I'm using a spoon. Way easier to fill. A little more batter. And also, before you put these in the oven, bang them on the counter. And to get out any air bubbles. Because the air bubbles also will cause a problem. Um, and there's just going to be air in it, and you don't want the air in it because you want it to kind of all just form together into the heart shape. Gosh, how long is this clip? Come on, go faster. And you can already tell the white cake batter was a lot runnier than the chocolate cake batter. Because the chocolate cake batter is thicker. Or which holds together better in the mold. White cake is great if you're just making cupcakes and things that are in bigger like shapes like that. And not in a small little shape. They put like a heart. Or you can also just use melted chocolate and put in these. I've done that before. I just got the candy melts and melted those. Okay, now pop those into the oven. And it just takes 18 to 19 minutes to bake these. And then you just set them down and you let them cool. Well, for a bit. And once they're cooled, you just pop them out and... Here's the end result without the frosting because I forgot to take a video of that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Feel free to comment. Feel free to not comment. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to unsubscribe. Bye.